Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to access the software for DBA 110 using the North Carolina State University Virtual Computing Lab. Students in DBA 110 have accounts for the North Carolina State University Virtual Computing Lab, which is located at http vclvirtualcomputinglab.ncsu.edu. Students will use a remote desktop computer with Windows XP, Microsoft Office 2010, and Microsoft Visio. This is a form of cloud computing. Students will need to save their work to their local machines or their USB drives. This is how it will work. Students will use their computer to access the servers at North Carolina State University to create a remote desktop environment on their local machine. Here you can see my desktop, which is green. And on my desktop, I have a remote desktop, which is being generated from the North Carolina State University Virtual Computing Lab. On this machine, I'm using Windows XP with Office 2010 and Microsoft Visio 2010. Again, it is important to note that any work databases uh, created on the remote desktop should be saved to your local machine or your USB drive before you close the remote desktop. And I will demonstrate this. I would also like to say that using the virtual computing lab is optional. Students may choose to complete their assignments using their home, work, or college computers here at DCCC. So let's begin. First thing I need to do is open up my browser, and I'm using Firefox. However, you may use Internet Explorer or, Saf or Safari. I should also like to point out that it doesn't matter if you're using an Apple machine or a PC, the virtual computing lab will work on either machine. Okay. I've entered in my URL. Now I'm at the Virtual Computing Lab site at North Carolina State University. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to click on View All Authentication Options to log in. At this screen, I am going to pull down and select Davidson County Community College, LDAP, proceed to log in. And if I want, I can click here so that the next time I go online, it will remember my selection proceed to log in. Okay, here you will use your Moodle ID and your Moodle password. Sorry about that. Okay, now that I've logged in, the first thing I need to do is create a new reservation. That's how I gain access to a remote desktop. So I'm going to click on New Reservation. From here, I'm going to select DBA 110. And then I'm going to select Now. In other words, I want to access the site now. I'm going to click Create Reservation. And as you can see, it's estimated five minutes to create the remote desktop. I do ask that you be patient, and I should also like to point out that during certain times of the day, such as during the afternoon when the site is the busiest, it could take longer to create the uh, reservation. But we'll just wait patiently. Okay, as you can see, my reservation is ready. And that did take five minutes, but I've edited the video uh, to not show the entire five minutes, of course. But that did take uh, five minutes to create. Now I'm going to collect, click Connect. 
Okay, now the information on this page is important. I do have my password and ironically you cannot copy and paste this password. You do have to key it in manually. And by the way, this password is only for this reservation only. If I choose to log into the system later today or tomorrow, I will be uh, given a new password. Now I need to get the RDP file, the remote desktop uh, connection. So I'm going to click get RDP file. I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to hit save and it's a very small file. It should only take just a few seconds. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to minimize this a little bit and there on my desktop is the DBA 110 RDP file. I'm going to double click. It's going to, um, my security software is letting me know that this is an unidentified uh, connection. Of course, I'm going to connect anyway, and I can choose to stop receiving the warning. It's reaching across. Uh, still cannot verify, but yes, I do want to connect anyway. There is no security risk. It accessing this site. So I'm going to click yes and there is my remote desktop and there is my Windows XP login. I'm going to click over here so I can see my password. Okay, And like I said I do have to key that in because I may not copy and paste it. So I'm going to key it in and I'm going to click OK And as you can see, Windows XP is loading. Now that I've keyed that in, I'm going to pull it over and I am going to maximize it. Depending on the resolution settings on your monitor will determine how large this remote desktop is. For some of you, it may be smaller than your desktop. For some of you, it could fill your entire screen. Uh, just uh, for your information, uh, my computer, the resolution is set at uh, 1280 by 1024. Yes, and there is that familiar Windows startup music. Okay, now I'm at my desktop. Okay, notice I have a shortcut to access and Visio, and of course you students are welcome to use Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint uh, for this class or even for other classes. I'm going to double click on Microsoft Access. Okay. I'm going to notice I'm not going to use uh, the minimize or restore on this um, this menu bar. If you get the message about uh, upgrading uh, to Professional Plus, just hit cancel. You can just ignore that. Okay. I just wanted to show you that, as you can see, uh, access is running on the remote desktop and I'm going to uh, create a blank database create okay and I'm going to save it save database as Okay, I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now this is my remote desktop. Okay, click save. And I'm going to close access, or I could just minimize it, but I'll close it. So you can see my database. Now how do I get my database from my remote desktop to my local desktop or my local machine? I'm going to simply right click and copy and then I'm going to right click on my local machine 
and paste. And as you can see, that was how I transferred my database from my remote desktop to my local machine. Another way is to with open the database. I'm going to hit File, Save As, Save Database As, and I'm going to pull down um, my machine. And if I, um, I'm going to double click on my computer, okay, and this right here, if um, if I had a USB drive plugged in, it would show up here, um, and it would it would actually uh, this six two one nineteen. That's my local machine. Okay, so that's how you could save it to. If you have a USB plugged into your local machine, it will show up on this list. Okay, I'm just going to hit cancel. All right. Okay, and we'll assume that I'm done working on the remote desktop, so I'm going to just simply close it. Uh, I am getting a message that I'm going to uh, terminate my connection. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it's shut down and I've still returned. Now, the, the RDP file that is left on your desktop, uh, you can just simply uh, delete that, place that in your recycle bin. And then if I go back to my current reservations, you can see that um, I did have my reservation for one hour, so this is still available. I would just hit connect again, and I would need to save the RDP file to my desktop. Well, I hope that this uh, video uh, helps you in accessing the North Carolina State University Virtual Computing Lab. Uh, and if you have any uh, questions or concerns, I do ask that you contact me. Thank you, and have a good day.